Hello, everyone. Um, I hope you can see me and see the slides. This is Stefano Prandoni uh, from uh, Bandwidth 10, and uh, I will uh, um, use the time today to show you some uh, of our solutions uh, based on uh, uh, our patented technology uh, for big cells. So let's start with uh, the, just a, a brief overview of, uh, uh, of the company. So the company has been founded in uh, 2011. Uh, we have different locations uh, in uh, the United States. So we have R&D and uh, the headquarters in Berkeley, California. We have a production site and R&D in Taiwan, and we have support in, in Europe, both commercial and technical, so in Germany. <clears throat> we have 55 employees worldwide. We are a growing company and we have uh, our own fab for Pixel. This is, uh, uh, yeah, the team, uh, Phil Warland and uh, uh, Mike Wang and Chris Chase are the founders. Uh, and then we have, sorry, uh, jump to, and Carlos Mateus, uh, director of R&D. This is the core team. Um, Phil Warland and Chris Chase uh, and Carlos Mateus are based in Berkeley and Mike Wang is uh, in Taiwan. And then we have uh, the European support uh, that is uh, myself uh, on the left here, Stefano Prandoni. I am the director of sales uh, for North America and Europe. Um, and I'm responsible for the business in these two regions. And then we have uh, the director of application engineering, uh, Murat Servey, also based in Germany. Let's talk about uh, our technology. So uh, bandwidth then uh, as uh, uh, a patented technology, which is called uh, um, HCG, so high contrast creating. Uh, it's a Vixel, which is uh, tunable uh, based on uh, a creating that you have uh, uh, on the top uh, of the cavity. By electrostatic effect, uh, you basically move uh, this grating down, shorten the cavity, and uh, uh, by shortening the cavity, you automatically have uh, a tuning of the output uh, uh, light. So this is a patented technology of bandwidth 10, and uh, uh, the platform uh, works uh, uh, on both uh, gallium arsenide and indium phosphate, uh, phosphide uh, substrates and can be uh, applied for wavelengths uh, from seven, uh, 720 to uh, 1700 nanometers. Now, uh, we control basically all uh, the chain uh, from uh, the design of the epitaxy uh, to the uh, laser chip and laser modules. Uh, the epitaxy is outsourced. Uh, it's our design, but it's outsourced. All the other steps uh, and uh, um, the chip also um, working is uh, made in-house, designed by us, the process, uh, uh, and we control every step. We package uh, uh, so also the packaging is outsourced on, uh, based on our design uh, and we have, uh, we can see in these other slides, so from the laser chip, uh, we have three different, uh, that is, so this slide shows three different kind of packages. Uh, uh, we will see that we have another one that is quite uh, new, we introduced it this year. So we have, um, our parts can be available as chips as Tiocan, as Toza. Uh, we added this year the pigtail Toza, available both as uh, with the polariza polarization maintaining fiber and uh, uh, standard fiber. And we have the transceivers uh, in SFP format. <clears throat> this is a slide that I like a lot because it summarizes uh, uh, a lot of our um, expertise, uh, 
our focus, uh, uh, the product. So you see the product uh, on, on the right, the products uh, on the right uh, from the pixel chip, the TO can, the toes, the pigtail toes, the tunable transceiver, and uh, uh, very new this year, the uh, driver and control electronics uh, to drive our uh, Toza Pixel. Uh, this slide says also what is our main focus. So our focus is to uh, bring to the market uh, um, a tunable technology based on Pixel uh, with the lowest possible cost to help also our customers uh, to realize, to, to make progresses and uh, um, introduce products uh, with uh, um, a high competitive capacity. Uh, the tunability, so is what, what we what we have is uh, not just a tunable laser, is a swept tunable laser. It means it can be tuned continuously over all the frequencies. So you don't have any hopes uh, and any uh, steps. So, so it's a continuous tuning uh, uh, through all the, the tuning range. The sweep rate, uh, uh, bidirectional uh, is uh, up to 500 kilohertz and we have different tuning ranges for different wavelengths so you you see uh, we have 50 nanometers now uh, so actually this is the standard product demonstrated for uh, selected products uh, we can reach also 60 70 nanometers for 10 60 nanometer uh, center wavelengths we have a 10 12 nanometers tuning range for the 15 50 nanometer and we have uh, uh, the 1654, which is uh, especially for a uh, gas sensing uh, with four nanometer tuning range. The line width uh, is uh, so we measured 100 megahertz. Uh, this is uh, averaged over, let's say, long time. Uh, the instant line width uh, uh, we haven't measured it uh, because it's uh, it's a difficult measurement. We are we have. Uh, a partnership but now maybe we will be able, able to measure this uh, in the next couple of months uh, but from uh, indirect measurements and feedbacks from uh, partners with, with, with which we are addressing very ambitious projects uh, these days uh, it's um, much less than 100 megahertz um, so Okay, we have multiple wavelengths available. Uh, the standards are listed here, 1654, 1550, uh, the 1060 and 1300 uh, is very new forthcoming. Uh, and as I said, uh, custom wavelengths, the platform uh, allows to manufacture uh, from 720 to 1700 nanometers. The end also, yeah, we will see uh if i if i'm not late uh, with the presentation uh, that they are also highly reliable this is this is uh, a table uh, that is showing some of the target applications uh, uh for our lasers so you can see here uh, based on the wavelength uh, you have fbg sensors or gas sensors or swept source uh, generally oct we are we have a, a nice picture here showing uh, uh, a result that we had, uh, keep on jumping, sorry, uh, that we had uh, together with uh, a partner in Asia for ophthalmological applications, uh, and this is an OCT image uh, um, showing a section of, uh, of an eye. And uh, uh, yeah, LIDAR, short range LIDAR, and these are the applications. Uh, then uh, quick overall, because I think I'm running late, uh, uh, quick overall uh, uh, on uh, our products. Uh, this is uh, uh, a slide showing 1550 nanometer 10G tunable TOSA uh, available uh, also as a big tail TOSA. Uh, you will find, so I, I, I will go uh, much faster now because I'm running late. Uh, you find the presentation also on our uh, virtual booth on the platform this is a reliability result uh, for the 1550 uh, nanometer which is showing uh, quite high reliability and uh, uh, we're out uh, uh, say we see a drop of uh, of 10 percent of uh, output power in 39 years which is a very good result 
1060 also available as uh, pigtail uh, or other packages. Uh, this is uh, uh, the result that uh, uh, I showed before for the ophthalmological uh, through, um, section, uh, OCT, this is an OCT application. And uh, here you see the tuning range uh, to, to uh, have this, uh, to get this image was 60 nanometer. This was a 1060 nanometer laser. Uh, with uh, an SOA with 15 dB uh, gain, and you can find and read also the other specification in the in the slide if you go and download uh, the presentation. The 1654 uh, nanometer tun uh, tunable is also available as uh, as pigtail toser, and we introduced also uh, recently a, a driver with which you can directly uh, control. Uh, uh, both the, 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 the tuning, you can sweep the laser and you can control uh, the PEC. So it's a, a starter set if you want to have uh, a taste uh, and uh, uh, you don't want to get crazy with a, with a lab setup, you can get uh, uh, our uh, TOSA and this controller you can, you can start immediately um, making your tests in your lab. Okay, and then as a, a final part of this presentation, just let me introduce uh, uh, the transceivers that we also have in our product portfolio. These are narrow tunable transceivers uh, with the uh, standard nine channels. Uh, you can have a selection uh, with 12 channels uh, for each part number, and uh, you can cover with different part numbers uh, uh, the full C band. And uh, there are uh, auto tunable uh, and they can uh, transfer also other informations uh, uh, through the AMCC uh, from one point to the other. Okay, so I think I run a bit late. Uh, visit us uh, and uh, uh, we are uh, here to uh, answer all your questions. So sorry for running late. Thank you very much for staying with me.